Hey YouTube, so this is me on my very first wild camping expedition um, heading into Epping Forest. I've got a bunch of stuff on my back, some of which should come in useful, some of which is probably unnecessary and no doubt most of what I actually need is left at home. So um, it's going to be an adventure. I'm, I'm excited but I'm also kind of a bit concerned. It's dark and I've left it quite late to get out here. So um, yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. So I've made my way into the forest. I haven't gone too far. I don't need to go too far for this first trip. Just enough to be out of sight and out of mind. Um, I've set up my tent, the snug pack ISO something. I can't remember what it's called. Um, set it up in the dark and if there's one thing that I mean, it's not necessarily something learned. I knew I needed to do this, but just didn't get a chance to do it. Uh, but putting up a tent that's new to you in the dark is quite difficult, especially when you're uh, on heightened alert, listening out for uh, anyone walking by, um, and uh, you don't want to use your torch too much for much the same reason. So it was pretty fraught, but um, got it set up. It's really roomy in here. It's very nice. Uh, so far, I'm liking it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of scary. It's, um, it's weird. There's nothing out here which is going to hurt me. I'm not worried about that. It's more the awkwardness if someone does come across me doing my thing. I actually feel a bit better now that I've got the tent set up because now I'm not just some weirdo walking around in the woods. Like, it, my purpose is established. So anyone who comes across me now, it, it's them trespassing on what it is I'm trying to do, which is a perfectly reasonable pastime. Every now and then I'll hear something and uh, just wonder what it is. Anyway, I'll catch back up with you in a bit. Okay, so I got into the woods somewhere around 6, 6.30, um, and then I set up the tent and all that kind of stuff. So I've been hunkered down for um, a couple of hours now. It's now 9.30, coming up to 9.30. I just thought I'd uh, take it easy, keep it quiet, just because I didn't want to run into anyone this early into the trip. But um, I'm getting quite hungry now, and um, I've also got a nice bottle of wine waiting for me as well, so I think I'm going to uh, uh, get moving, um, get some food on, and then maybe have a drink as well. It's also got quite cold. Uh, so moving around again in my blood flowing sounds like a really good idea. Um, let me show you what I've got. To start, I've got this um, uh, fillet steak. Uh, there is a reason for that, and I'll go into it uh, in a bit. Um, bought it on the way over here, so looking forward to that. Um, in here, there's uh, two, well, there's a corn on the cob cut in half, and also some potatoes. Um, and so... <laughs> The basic idea is just to um, fry the steak, boil the vegetables, and uh, eat the whole lot. A bit simple, but it sounds pretty good to me. For dessert, I have this uh, Wayfarer chocolate pudding. Um, so Rachel and I went camping a little while ago, off the back of uh, that Van Gogh 350 lock picking video I did. Um, and she bought me this uh, just as a bit of a treat. And unfortunately, I didn't have it that time, um, but I have it now, so looking forward to that. And I also have this Chianti Classico red wine. Uh, you know it's good when it's got a cockerel on it. So yeah, looking forward to this. Okay, well I'm going to uh, emerge and uh, get cracking. Hey, good morning. So, um, it's 8.30. Um, I've been dozing on and off for a few hours now. Uh, but it's the morning. The morning of my first wild camp. Um, it was really cold. I don't know, not really cold. It was cold enough that it wasn't comfortable to sleep. Um, 
and I don't think my bed was particularly comfortable. Uh, I didn't have a pillow, so I was using a coat. That was fine, but it's just not comfortable. And I think it's easy to think that you're more tolerant, resilient to these things when you're thinking about camping than the actual experience of camping. So that's something to take away. Yeah, it, it wasn't like bitterly cold or, or very cold or anything like that, but definitely uncomfortable. Um, I'm, I'm quite layered up. Uh, also, I've got a sleeping bag on me, supposedly rated down to, I don't know, I, I think it's rated for up to uh, zero degrees, but it was also only 30 quid on Amazon, so I think my understanding is that you should take those ratings with a pinch of salt, and perhaps even more so when, um, when it's a 30 quid sleeping bag. But it wasn't too bad, I did get some sleep, um, and yeah, I enjoyed it. It's very, um, very peaceful, very relaxing. It's raining now, uh, maybe it's easing up a little bit. Um, but I'm going to uh, hopefully get some shots of the of the camp, uh, show you what that looks like. Um, and then yeah, head into the wilderness and grab myself a coffee because uh, I don't think, for another mistake I made, which I need to think about, uh, I'm going to be able to make myself some coffee here. Which is sad. Anyway, I'll um, talk to you shortly. Through that way is where I came in. It um, takes you back onto a footpath. I kind of came off it a little bit in order to get into this kind of secluded area. And that's the tent. An isonosphere, snug pack isonosphere. And again, through there, you can see it leads into another kind of open area, which might be a track, I'm not too sure. I think there's some residential over that way. But this tent is, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll do um, a more comprehensive uh, a video on my thoughts at some point, or <laughs> maybe I won't, but um, I, I was really impressed with it. I like how low profile it is. You can see there, that's the uh, steak packaging. Now you can actually see what it's called. Kind of got a little too close to this holly. That wasn't making it easy to get through what is it already a very tight entryway. See how this sips down to place the outer. And you've also got the inner, almost like anti-mosquito mesh. And here it is from another perspective. Let's go see how easy it is to see it. Okay, so it's definitely um, discernible. I don't know if you can see it, but it certainly and in person. This is more open clearing. It's so beautiful. So I just want to talk briefly about why it is that I've done this. Come into the woods and slept in a tent and cooked a steak particularly. And the, um, the reason for it is, uh, it's twofold. Uh, one is I've wanted to do it for a long period of time. And I've watched a lot of YouTube channels around wild camping and bushcraft and stuff like that. 
Uh, I grew up over Ashnell Forest, so it's always been kind of in my blood to go walking over well, forests and going into the wild to uh, escape everything. And um, living in London, I've kind of lost track of it. So this has been an opportunity to kind of reconnect and do something which I think is uh, inherently healthy for me as a human being. The, um, the other reason is uh, one, I really like YouTube. There's a number of um, YouTube uh, channels that I particularly like, and I'll, uh, I'll make a video about those one day, I'm sure. But um, uh, there's a YouTuber in particular, a guy called Hayes, Hayes Outdoors, Hazy. And he does these really cool videos, just going out into the bush, uh, <laughs> into the bush, uh, into, um, uh, into the wild camping and doing all that kind of stuff. And um, I really like his videos. He seems like a really great bloke. He's really, um, I don't know, just easygoing and uh, just likes to have a laugh. And that's good fun to watch. But he's also um, very genuine and very kind of connected to people. Um, now one of the things he's been doing recently is promoting uh, men's mental health. And um, this is a topic which is quite close to my own heart. Uh, and he, um, he produced this, uh, this initiative called Show Us Your Steak. And um, the idea of it is that you go into the wild, whether you're an established YouTuber or whatever, you go into the wild and you uh, do a bit of, I don't know, forest bathing, just get away from it all and take some time to yourself to be in amongst nature and enjoy it. And you cook a steak and you record yourself cooking that steak and then you post it online and you post it online with some links to men's mental health and you post it online talking about men's mental health or uh, I mean anything you really want to do uh, put some links to men's mental health or mental health charities generally uh, in the description of the video um, it's not just men's mental health I mean men and women and every other form of gender like uh, have mental health issues and they need to talk to people from time to time. So his initiative is just go into the woods, make yourself a steak, show us your steak, and uh, while you're at it, say a few words about men's mental health. So um, my take on the subject is that, I mean, I think the trend these days towards uh, talking about mental health uh, particularly um, some of the work that Prince Harry has been doing about it, of all people. Uh, I, I think that's really good and really strong. And not before time. I, uh, I think it's very easy to say talk about men's mental health and to promote people talking about mental health. But the actual act of doing so is kind of difficult. And particularly from my perspective, the actual act of going out and like seeking help, actually calling someone and saying, okay, I'm in a bit of trouble here. I need to do something about my mental health. I'm, I'm having thoughts or I just don't feel happy or whatever it is. Like it's difficult to actually consider yourself to have got to that point such that you actually reach out and uh, look for that kind of like support that you might be needing at the time. So I guess my message to you is that if ever you feel any kind of need, any kind of uh, desire or, or, or yeah, urge to talk about anything that's on your mind, I think you should just go ahead and do it. I think you should talk to a friend or talk to professional services, very easily uh, uh, come by. And below in the description of this video, there are, are indeed going to be some um, links to some videos. But I, I, I can't encourage you enough to just take that step and contact someone or talk to someone. Because uh, that's what I did off the back of Hazy's uh, video. 
I um, I've been having some troubles myself, some things that I, I really need to talk to someone about. And um, I'd be thinking about like calling someone, but I just never thought I was quite at the point where I needed to. I never thought, okay, well, this is this is the really the point that I need to go and uh, seek some help, some guidance. And that was really stupid because I was in a pretty dark place. And um, getting in contact with uh, a counsellor and just talking about these things is really, like, it, it's, it's kind of revolutionary in terms of how I, I see the world. In fact, I think the reason I'm here <laughs> doing a video and, um, and wild camping is, a lot, is largely down to actually just taking that step and talking to someone. So I need to say a huge thank you to Hazy for the video, for the encouragement, and just generally having a pretty cool channel. Like, I really enjoy your videos, so uh, thank you. Um, but also just a message to you, all of you out there, all like 20 people who might watch this video, uh, never feel like you're alone. And if you do, make sure you reach out. You don't have to hold back because you're not quite there and those services are meant for other people. It's actually meant for you. So crack on. And go to the woods. Going to the woods feels really good. I am... Um, I have no idea where I am, but I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, see you soon.